no matter what your job is you may be a ceo you may be a manager or a teacher or even a parent we all are ultimately a salesman why i say this because day in and day out we try to convince people that what we offer is what they want pick up any success story of any product or a service or an idea how we measure the success of that is by knowing what is their market share they have achieved or the sales volume they have achieved ultimately the bottom line is what have you sold before we discuss about this topic let me share my personal experience with you hi my name is samir mehta i have been engaged in international marketing for past more than 4 decades i will share my experience with you by offering you some tips of how the marketing and sales are handled for latest updates subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon now we have divided this subject in five topics these five topics are the objective and the sequence of events in the marketing and sales the second is activities done the third is a role performed the fourth is the skills required and the fifth is the challenges faced now uh, talking about the objective of marketing and sell the objective of marketing is the lead generation whereas the objective of sales is revenue generation by closing the deal as far as the sequence of events are concerned marketing happens before sales or in other words marketing feeds sales whereas the sales leads operation or production or whatever and in other words sales feeds the operation if you are a manufacturing company and if the lead generation declines it would reduce the sales and it would ultimately affect your operation if you are piling up the stock that means your inventory cost will increase and eventually your product cost will increase and it will ultimately make your product incompetitive so it is imperative that the marketing activities are vibrant and proactive marketing is like a gangotri if everything st starts from there well as it is said well begun is half done now as far as the activities involved in marketing and sales let's first talk about the activities to be done for marketing it is more of a strategy and planning for a long term it is also customer centric your focus is more on customer lead generation as we said then you are focusing on new opportunities in a large group the fourth is you will be attending trade shows buyer sellers meet and seminar etc by that you will be creating a solid and a wide network and also to know the new trends in the market and you will be also focusing on the advertising and publicity campaign which is to be done throughout the year these are the marketing activities which is done now let's talk about the activities of sales this is more physical on field the activities is very physical and more on field it is highly product centric from inquiry to sales and after sales this is the important activity of a sales person focus is on the requirement generated number of proposals received and the execution of order to the full satisfaction of buyer nurture strong and close relation with buyer and be his advocate with your team you have to be an advocate of the customer with your management as well 
be a keen observer of the activities happening in the market field including competitor these are the activities of a sales person now as far as the role or a job profile of a marketing person and sales person let's talk about that the role or a job profile of a marketing person it is first and the foremost is to create a credibility how you create a credibility normally you are the first person to approach the customer so first you have to create your own credibility second is of your company the third is your brand and fourth is your product and service now if you are talking about the role of a sales person or a job profile of a sales person the establish the credibility you have to build up the credibility which has been created by the marketing person the sales person also creates or help to create a curiosity from the customer of your product he should probe in the product and the services being offered by you the more he probes in that you will be able to explain to him how your product or why your product is right for him and finally you will be able to convince him that how your product or service is best for him again while talking about export marketing i would say that it is rather special and it is a uh, glamorous also when you are approaching a foreign customer you as a foreign supplier is also given a different kind of importance hence you will have an audience of the marketing person or a managing director or a production head or even a purchase head etc so you have to impress him or the whole group as much as possible and i used to prefer a powerpoint presentation of our company profile once that is done half job was done i also used to observe right from the entry of the uh, customers premises i used to observe small things and when you are sitting in a conference room normally the finished product what they are selling or what they are exporting is also on display have a look at that and appreciate that product and give compliment of the good product which they are making and selling in the international market this will put the customer in a very good mood even while talking or giving a presentation try to find out their production capacity etc this will help you to know that what is your sales potential with that customer now as far as the skills required for a marketing man and a salesman for marketing man it is a rapo building and a good spoken skill the second he should be a kind of a storyteller instead of narrating what you are doing in a mechanical manner you should kind of a create a story the story can be of you know the name of the company or anything then you are promoting a company you are promoting a brand you have to be very proactive you should be good at public speaking and you have to be emotional because here you are connecting the person and creating a personal bond which will ultimately lead him to buy from you so your behavior should be more emotional now when you are talking about the skill required for the sales person his knowledge of the product and the application of the product where the customer is going to use that knowledge is very very important he should be a kind of a troubleshooter if the customer is finding any problem in his production maybe not related to your product but if you are resolving his problem by offering a solution you will be remembered forever and you will be always called you should be meticulous in the follow up as a sales person you should be quick and prompt to 
react you should be able to qualify and quantify the leads which has been generated and prioritize for uh, the follow up etc you should be serviceable forever and the sales person has to be more logical because he is dealing with facts and he is dealing with the situation so it has to be more logical the difference in the challenges faced by the marketing and sales if we look at that then as far as marketing is concerned it is difficult to quantify the efforts done in the uh, marketing and as it is not indicating the actual figures whereas in sales it is easy to quantify the volume of the sales second dealing with large group and therefore it is more difficult to satisfy one and all at at one time whereas in sales you are dealing with a smaller group and it may be easier for them to satisfy people third is long term planning marketing is a long term planning and it is built in with the uncertainties so it is difficult to achieve the results whereas in sales it is the short term planning or a short term goal which is relatively easier to achieve having seen the difference between marketing and sales there are some golden rules which is applicable to both number 1 owning a responsibility forever number 2 you cannot afford to look at watch or calendar for a customer call number 3 you have to be positive to everyone and forever now you are in export marketing and therefore you have an added responsibility as you are representing the country the position of india today is very very high and we should be all proud of that and therefore your product or your service has to be of the top quality ensure that forever the global market is very big and therefore the chances of growth is maximum as you know the growth and comfort do not coexist so make your best effort to see that your product is becoming a global product and your company is having a global position for detailed learning of all logistics subjects visit www.logivader.com